Greetings to you all, and welcome back to ChatGPT vs Pokemon. Once again, I've given an updated blurb on what's going on. Usual bit at the top. Updated the Pokemon move and level list. And my blurb is as follows. I have just arrived at Vermilion City, and apparently need to attend the party on the SSM. Please advise me where to go next, including as much detail as possible. I suggest... No, I don't suggest. I would like you to suggest battle plans for any trainer battles. Assuming that I'm a beginner player, this should hopefully get rid of the personal preference nonsense. It won't, but it's worth a go. And also encourage me to catch any available Pokémon that would help improve my current team. I don't think there's anything here worth catching, in all honesty, but chat GPT might. Always oh, thinking. Head east to find Diglett's cave. Don't enter it. Okay, this is not correct. None of this is correct. Well, okay, off we go. Head east from Vermilion. Find the entrance to Diglett's cave. Got it. Fortunately for you, I know where that is, and it is east. I have found the entrance to Diglett's Cave. You tell me you're Diglett's Cave? You do. Wonderful. Behold, Diglett's Cave. Wait, I entered it. That's a mistake. Instead, continue east, you'll come across a building. This is the Pokemon Fan Club. No, it ain't. But alright, let's go. Why not? So... A little disclaimer. Wait, first I need instructions. Da, 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 Lieutenant Surgery, good lord. Some Pokemon you may want to consider catching, okay. Catch an Eevee? What game are you playing? Magic up, good call. Um, if a Pokemon, uh, if a wild Pokemon is not on your... Worth considering to catch this. What should I do when I encounter one? Just say run. Okay, okay, yes, those are the options. I hate you. Is it worth catching a second Sandra? Don't say personal preference. He's been flummoxed by his lack of personal preference as an option. You know my current team composition. Work with me here. It's not exactly performing well, but it's doing, you know, it's it's alive. I just want you to tell me if I should kill this thing or run from it. That's all I want. It's with the slow revelation of your advice. We're not breeding Pokémon for optimal stats. That's not possible. And even if it was, that's not what we're gonna do. In general, catching a second Sandshrew isn't necessary. Thank you. Oof, we got there. Now I'm going east. I'm so glad that's a Zantru again. I know where the building is, okay? You tell me what to do in case of battles, because I did ask you for that. No, no, I don't think that's true.
No, you did not. I need a battle plan against a Voltorb. I am leading with my Ibisaur. Okay, so whilst that battle plan comes out, I have a confession. At the end of the previous video, after it was complete, I was so relieved to have achieved everything we had achieved that I turned the game off as if I wanted to run away from it before anything could go wrong. And I forgot to save, which is not great. But it's a thing that happened. So I had to replay as close as I could off camera what happened. So I made sure to get everyone to the same level that they were at the end of the video. But some things are going to be slightly wrong. The exact experience will be wrong. The HP values will be wrong. Uh, the remaining PP on my skills will be wrong. I, I don't know. My, my, my uh, pokey dollars is probably slightly off. So I apologize for discrepancies. As you might imagine, I played the battles normally. In a way that distributed the experience how it should be, but normally. I didn't sit here spamming poison powder. Oh dear. If Voltorb uses self-destruct, how can you react to this? It's not possible. Right, uh, Ivysaur died. Which Pokémon from my team would I use next? Geodude probably the answer, because he has Dig. Well, there isn't much to think about. You do not send in a flying Pokémon. Which eliminates these two. These two are fine, I suppose, but... Yeah, dude's just better. And Flutter can't kill anything. I'm gonna take the top option. I, why did I say that? I'm a fool. Use Gust or Quick Attack to deal damage to Voltorb, the ground type Pokemon. Got it. Let's Quick Attack. Never mind, maybe I had it all wrong, Chat GPT. Maybe you do know what's up. Alright, alright, we've done that though. The enemy is now about to use Magnemite. Which Pokemon do I send out? And which moves should I use? GPT, why are you so slow today? There we go, that's more like it. We'll take the top option. Geodude, good choice. Now, you might be thinking that Geodude isn't the best here. But fortunately, because he's part ground type, he takes half damage from electric moves. It's not true. Use rock type moves like rock throw or dig. That's not a rock move. But all right, will do. Avoid using ground moves. Whoa. That's... We got a conflict of interest here. Alright, alright, alright. You told me... To use my Geodude. And to use his Dig move. However, you then told me... Not to use any ground type moves. Is it okay to use dig? You kind of made it sound like dig is a rock type move. And now I'm all confused. That's what I thought. It's not recommended to use dig. Why? I don't have any rock-type moves 
I've just got the gun to tackle. You know this, I gave you this information at the top. Tackle. Although unfortunately Magnemite is resistant to normal type moves. I mean look at look at how much he resists this damage. Observe. Yeah, not in this gen. Later on, Magnemite is part steel typing, but not here. Steel doesn't exist in Gen 1. Wait. If you choose to use Geodo Direct, recommend using its dick move only when facing non-electric Pokémon. Why would you lock me in? Forever! Never using dig when it's actually good. I'm about to fight Surge! And you've just given me the rule of never use dig. Why? I could roll a dice and I'd get better at battle plans. Oh, uh, ChatGPT, why? How do you misunderstand something so terribly? Somehow, it knows that rock is good against electric, but doesn't know that ground is good against electric. It's all right, it's all right, we'll get rock throw at some point, and then, then we'll see who's laughing, won't we? Wow, first loss. That's impressive. Oh, you've not taken many battles. Right. Continue east, you'll come across a building. This is the Pokemon fan club. Speak to the chairman inside. You must be the chairman. Hey, it's not that bad. I've got a strat. Or oh, we are rating all of the names. Don't you worry. Um. Hmm. Uh, I guess he wasn't the chairman then. Maybe upstairs, the chairman? I knew you were chairman. Nope, you're an aide. I don't need your damn item finder. I'm not about to lie to a scientist. Important that you provide accurate data, otherwise how can they science? I cannot do this trade, so I'm not even going to ask. Alright, we've got a bit of a problem. I can't find the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman in this building east of Vermilion. It only seems to have Rock Oaks aid, some random guy who wants to trade, and and what, what is this guy? A border guard who doesn't even stop anyone or check their IDs. Honestly, the man's useless. Oh, the Pokemon Fan Club chairman can be found in the building west near the pier. Ah. My mistake, my mistake. Okay, what do we need to do? Exit the Pokemon Center. Got it. Right, back we go. Yeah, screw your grass. Mm. Grass is better than fighting a trainer. Oh, it's all Sandrews. This is the dream. The dream is dead.
Gotta watch out for those youngsters. I don't have the male and female symbols to hand. Alright, I have to type these words out. Work within the limitations. Great! Vegeta has a type for advantage. Nice. Because it's poison. <laughs> okay. You're so close. You're so close. Use Gust. The move is super effective against poison types. If he uses a poison type move, switch out. If it uses a normal type move, keep using Gust. Okay. We need to switch. It's going to recommend Ivysaur, because it can't be poisoned. So let's just bring him to that, shall we? Geodude or Sandshrew? I'll take the first. Yeah, if you give me an ultimately, I'm just going to take the first from now on. Otherwise, we'll be here all damn day. And this is a really important decision, then I will force your hand. Which move is best? For Geodude to use in this fight. Dig or tackle. Alright, don't say rock throw. Please, for once. This is the answer. Why have you ever got this right? Geodude's high attack stat also works on Dig, you moron! Also, Geodude doesn't even have a high attack stat, he has high defense. I mean, uh, it's not bad, it's okay, but... Oh, god. But this is wrong! I need you to look at a typing chart, chat GPT. Provide me with a Gen 1 typing chart for Pokemon. Okay, while it's... While it's struggling with that one. Just wait, shall we? You're actually going to draw me out a table in plain text. All right, I'm, I'm down. In the meantime, I'm going to use these instructions for Nidorino, because it's going to be the same, right? It's the same typing of Pokemon. There's nothing here about switching out. So, whoa, you actually processed it into a table. Wow. I didn't know you could do that. Can I pan? I can pan. That's actually cool. What does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's complete nonsense. Normal. Attacking type, defending type. So attacking type is across the top, is it? Defending type down the bottom. That's how I would interpret that. Although, that might be wrong. It might be back to front. So when normal attacks ghost, it hits for ghost damage. It, what? What does this mean? Oh, it's useless. Geo dude, fight this thing as if it's a need arena male. Tell you what, because this is going to take a while and I'm going to need advice when Geodude dies, I'm going to pause and I'll resume when the table has finished generating. Wait, has he given up? No, we still going. Alright, I'll pause. I'll be back. Alright, well, it seems ChatGPT gave up 
halfway through fire. Also, the fact that we've already encountered steel is a bit concerning. The fairies exist, no. But steel does, apparently. But dark doesn't. So, this is neither Gen 1 nor Gen 2. This is somewhere in between. This is Gen 1.5. But, uh, complete nonsense. We won't use that anymore. I might get it to try again later on, because that's an interesting challenge. But let's deal with this fight first, shall we? Uh, so I'm gonna die. Never mind. I'm gonna free type this. We all know it's coming. I can see why it crashed in the middle of the fire section. Come yeah, on, you can do this. He's overwhelmed. Yeah, forget that. Sanshrew, got it. Sanshrew Scratch is a decently strong normal move. That is debatable, but I'll use it. Don't get me wrong, there's worse, but not many. Just endure. I've got the green light to use Scratch until the end of time. Honestly, I wouldn't mind using a sand attack first, but whatever. Good stuff. You're good, kid. Real good. It's not quite good enough. Right, back to the steps. Exit the Pokemon Center in Vermilion. Right, off we go. Oh, where is it? Is it down here? No. Why oh, don't I know where this building is? Up here. No. Right. Exited. Walk left until you reach the end of the street. You should see a building with a blue roof. Uh, there's some blue in it. There's some diagonal blue. Yeah, yeah, there's blue. Yeah. Uh, a red and white. I mean, generously, if you... There's white, for sure. There's a sign. There's no signs here. Enter the building and speak to the man inside to hear about his Rapidash. You, tell me about your Rapidash. Not quite. trying to find this Pokemon fan club. Uh, I took your advice and ended up talking to a fishing guru. He wants to know if I like to fish. Do I? This is going to be a personal preference. There's no way this is going any other direction. Fishing rods can be used because what's up a If you don't like to fish or don't want to bother with it, simply decline. Yeah. Um. Is fishing for Pokemon good for me and my team? Potentially? Can definitely be good. Alright. I like your style. I was worrying how we were going to teach anything surf, but I mean, you get a Lapras for free, right? So, we always had an out. 
But never mind, we got a fishing rod. No, you just gave me a very important tip. Continue searching for the Pokemon Fan Club. Remember to explore all areas of the city and talk to all NPCs. Got it. That's what I like to hear. That's true. That's incorrect. Mewtwo is universally strong. It basically has no weakness except for Pin Missile. And even then, stats are about double anything else. Who cares? She's an NPC, I'm talking to her. That is true. Damn it. Oh, and we had some friends. Is the computer an NPC? Probably not. I spoke to you, right? No, I didn't. That's unfortunate, chap. Let me get that fixed. Not yet. But I shall. The devil is a grimer. You, NPC, speak to me. That's good use of Pokemon. A Machop isn't very big. It's smaller than a child. You need a bigger Pokemon for this job. Maybe get like an Onyx or something. Anyone in here want to chat? You abandon Pokemon that aren't popular? That's... very on trend. Agreed. You, NPC. I'm glad we spoke. Uh, who else wants to chat? That's a strange noise for you to make, Pidgey. I was under the impression all you could say was Pidge and E. That's nice. Let me have a snoop. A little bit of foreshadowing there. I didn't know Pokemon had foreshadowing in it. Hello, girl. No. The devil is this? I had no idea this was here. That's interesting. A sign? Pokemon Fighting Club? Good heavens, we found it. I need to talk to the chairman. You're clearly the chairman. Tell me about your Rapidash. You've collected over a hundred Pokemon, good grief. Maybe I should rob this guy. No, no, stay the course, stay the course. Yes, tell me about your Rapidash. I've been told I need to know about your Rapidash. <laughs> I've never seen one before, mate. I don't know what it, what it is. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if it's strong. Don't hug it. I mean, I, I, Artega, I know what a Rapidash looks like, and the thing's on fire. Don't, don't hug it. Good lord, we got a bike voucher. I finally found a chairman. And he gave me a bike voucher. Do not say back to Cerulean. I hate you. Can I even get back? Yeah, I can. Oh, God. Off we go. Man, the SSNs better be worth the wait. Do, 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 do. 
Go through Route 6, that's this one, and Route 5. I'm going to engage memory. We know how to get to Route 5 from Route 6, it's through this. Because that's how we got from 5 to 6 in the first place. Once you get to Cerulean City, head to the bike shop. We know where the bike shop is. Located near the gym. No, it's not. It couldn't be much further away from the gym. The gym's basically in the middle. The bike shop's on the outskirts. Whatever. Oh, this isn't too bad of a walk, at least. There's no encounters, so... It's, it's not that bad. Alright, near the gym. Very broad definition of near. Is it literally the furthest away building? It is. It's literally the furthest away. Wonderful. Present the bike voucher. He'll give you a bicycle. Enjoy the new mode of transportation and happy cycling. Will do. If you'll excuse me, I need to enjoy. I intend to enjoy this multiple times. So it's going at the top. Enjoyment was had. Wait, where do I go? You haven't told me. Just enjoy. Understood. I have now enjoyed my new bike. Where do we go? Onwards to the SSN? The chairman never gave me cut, by the way. Which is the whole reason why you told me to go and speak to him. I'm just gonna enjoy my bike a bit more. We need to travel to the SSN. Alright, head to the Vermilion City Harbour and board the SSN. Good. Good step. Oh no, I'm not on my bike anymore. I'm sad. I want to enjoy it some more. I'm not strategically choosing my emotions. Ah, this is fun. What enjoyment I'm having. The bike's got some nice jolly music to it. I like it. I can't cycle in here. Oak will get angry. You take me back for some green cross code action. Or cycling proficiency. Whichever you prefer. Okay. Board the SSN. Or head to the Vermilion City Harbour, step one. Right, harbour is over here. Does this say harbour? It does! Wow. Head to the harbour. I'm now in the harbour. Board the SSN. It's down here. I do have a ticket. Out of my way. SSN boarded. After defeating the captain, he will reward you with cut. When you're on the SSN, make sure to explore the ship and talk to all the trainers. Okay. I am going to talk to all of the trainers on the SSN. This probably means there will be some trainer battles. Can you provide a brief battle plan for each of the Pokemon in my team. Just something general that tells me which moves to use if I end up using them in battle. Okay, I want six bullet points. I don't need one for Zubat, it's just spam leech. Alright, I'm going to begin my mission of talking to everyone. I'm going to start over here for no apparent reason. Right. Off we go. 
We're going to be here for a long time. I'll warn you. I think Ivy Sword's at the top, so this should be fine. Use Vine Whip against opponents weak to grass moves. Finally! Finally we're using type advantage. What are the other rules for this guy? Poison powder the poison opponents to deal damage over time. Leech needs a drain. Heal Ivy Sword. Tackle. Fall back when I need to deal damage but don't want to waste PP. Okay. So I interpret Ivy Sword's strategy as if weak to grass, use Vine Whip. Otherwise, poison them, then Leech Seed them, then tackle them. That's how I'm interpreting that instruction. I think it's fair. Oh wait, that's a cool spot poison. Oops. I got so excited because I saw a water Pokemon. Um, he can't be poisoned, so we'll just leap seed and tackle Spatman. God damn tackle missing. I believe tackle is 95% accurate, so it's gonna happen from time to time. Interestingly enough, in this game, moves can miss even if they're 100% accurate due to a programming error. For those of you in the know, the RNG is done by rolling a random number. Uh, it's supposed to be between 1 to 256, but I guess because computers it goes 0 to 255. But the comparison is with the number 256. So even when it's supposed to be guaranteed, it can miss. There's a 1 in 256 chance of it missing. Uh, I'm just going to assume I don't change. You are weak to grass. Generally speaking, not knowing which Pokemon... Why can't I type? I'll be facing. Suggest an order for my team of six Pokemon. I will start with the one at the top, and when it faints, I will use the next one down the list, and so on. I don't, there doesn't even have to be logic in the list, just make a list. And if Agusol's not at the top, I'll swap him out. Adjusted order, based on their type of music. Okay, good, good, good. I, I don't care for your reasoning, I'm just looking at this. So we use Ivysaur until he's dead, then Pidgeotto till he's dead, then Zubat till he's dead, and so on. Ivysaur is going to get crazy experience on this boat. Let me assure you. Once I've beaten you both, I'll talk to you both. Matey! Uh, I, Jim Lad. Curses. He's not weak to grass moves. There's only one thing for it. It's Operation Chip Him Down with damage over time. Stop chopping me. Okay, now I'm going to check all of these actually make sense. Use Gust against opponents weak to flying type moves. If you say so, you're the boss. Guaranteed hints, which time you Yeah, okay, that's fine. You know what moves I've got, good. Use it as a last resort, poor guy. Switch it out as soon as possible. You haven't told me what to do with Metapod. Okay, Geodude has just used Dig constantly, it seems. You are not weak to flying moves, I think. Is fighting weak to flying? I don't know. Quick attacking. Alright, as I battle everyone on this boat with these instructions, let me just 
sort some things out. If I need to use Metapod, what should my battle plan be? Let's get that out the way. That's spam dig. Use leech life. I only have leech life. Use dig. I don't have dig. I don't have rock slide. It's my sand shrew. You scratch to deal damage if you need to, which I will need to. Okay, so Sandro is just you scratch, it seems. So it Sandro is scratch and switch if taking too much damage. Geodude is just dig. Use tackle if you don't want to waste PP. Subat is just spam. Metapod is don't have that. Use defensive moves like string shot or tackle. It, you dodged me. Try again. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Jellyfish sometimes drift into, into the ship. Onto the ship, surely. I'm going to take this as just tackle. It says you may want to consider using string shot. But maybe I don't want to. I never remember what this guy said. But you ain't. Alright. So I understand what all of my Pokemon need to do. So you know what's coming up next. Great. A table. For generation one. Uh, I need the word Pokemon in there. For Pokemon... Generation 1, type advantages and disadvantages. The table should have the different typings on the... in the heading column such row. And then in each of the cells there uh, should be the value 1x, 2x, or a half x. No, wait, there's more as well, isn't there? There's also zero. Depending on the amount of damage the move would deal. For example, a super effective move would be denoted by 2x. A not very effective move would be denoted by a half x. A regular damage move is denoted by a 1x. And a non effective move, such as a normal attack against a ghost, is denoted by 0x. Right, I'm gonna leave you going. Make me proud. And if I see the word steal, I'm gonna cry. Uh, Pidgeotto, use Gust against flying type. Use Gust against opponents weak to flying moves. Otherwise, use Quick Attack. Got it. Ivysaur didn't get the kind of experience I was hoping he would get in this place, but it's okay. Pidgey Pie's gonna. He's gonna pick up the slack. I will assume that if I run out of PP, I'm allowed to use the other move. That's, that seems logical to me. By the way, we can tell if ChatGPT is still creating that table below because of the stop generating button. When it's done, it won't say stop generating anymore. It will say uh, generate again or regenerate or whatever it says. When you want it to, when you don't like the answer and you want it to try again. Good for you, mate. Ooh, it's finished the table already. That's fast. Am I allowed to pick up items? What did you tell me to do here? 
Travel to all the trains and NPCs. There are many valuable items to be found on board. Yeah, okay, sounds like you want me to get the items. How's my table? Is it right? Um, it's back to front. No, it's wrong. <laughs> it's completely wrong. It's, is this table symmetrical? Maybe? Also, it doesn't have enough typings. It's miles off, never mind. Yeah, he just gave up. It's, it's like the... It's as if the request is too long for it to handle, but it's not right anyway. Ghost normal is correct. Normal does zero to ghost. That's actually right. I'm proud of you. It's very annoying that I don't have a horizontal scroll bar for this. I just have to drag myself around. Um... Fighting deals double to normal. That's correct. You've got a lot of this right. What about... Don't have any rock. Normal against normal against rock. What do you think? That's correct. You're quite good, but then you get some stuff completely wrong. Like fire against water should be half, and water against fire should be double. As grass, fire against grass should be double. Grass against fire should be a half. There's this weird symmetry going on that shouldn't be here. I wonder if it's completely symmetrical, but I can't really... Just... It's hard to just view. Well, here's, a, here's a broken piece of symmetry. Correct, though! Water against electric does regular damage, but electric against water does double damage. Yes, that's correct. You're almost there. You've just got some mistakes. I don't... I can't explain why you have certain mistakes. It doesn't... It doesn't seem logical to me. How you can know there's a a non-symmetric imbalance between electric and water, but that there isn't between fire and water. I, I don't have an explanation, you just seem to be fed some duff info. A good effort, ChatGPT, apart from the point where you gave up. No, I don't want that. It doesn't do anything. No, it can't. You should still consider Pidgeotto's other moves and... Uh, give me a general battle plan that works against any Pokemon trainer. Or Pidgeotto. Given it has three moves. Gust. Wick attack. Whirlwind. Okay, we're changing the plan. Start with Gust. Use Quick Attack if health is low. Okay. Use Whirlwind to disrupt strategy. If the opponent's Pokémon is too strong, use Whirlwind. Got it. That could have gone worse. So in case you don't know, what Whirlwind does in this game is it forces wild Pokémon to run. Or if used by a wild Pokemon, it causes you to run, I suppose. It ends the fight. It's a sort of disengaging skill, but it doesn't work on trainers. So if you use it on trainers, just nothing happens. Because it's not a wild encounter. My HP is now low, which means we cook attack. This Pokemon is not too strong, trust me. So Whirlwind doesn't do anything against the trainer at all. In later games, they gave it a use, which is what ChatGPT is talking about. In later games, you can force your opponent to switch Pokémon by Whirlwinding. 
it blows their current Pokémon onto the bench and they have to throw out a different... Which, you know, has some uses, I suppose. But it's still not very good. In this game, nothing. We got nothing. I have it on good authority that this horsey is too strong for me. Good stuff. Zubat. Sandro. This is just use Scratch and Switch if taking too much damage. That ain't gonna take long. You're dead if you get hit again, so that's too much damage. Geo, dude. Meta board. We all know how this fight's ending, it doesn't matter. Death will not deter me. I will complete the plan. I'm going to enjoy my bike. Maybe I should ask more generally when I should use the bike. This might be considered cheating, I'm not sure. When should I use my new bicycle? And let's just change that. Much better. Okay, we're getting the explicit instructions on when I can use it. Travel between towns and cities. Explore areas with long routes. Hatch Pokemon eggs. Good luck. Escape from what Pokemon? We just run away on our bike, do we? Alright. I'll try it. Uh, what room was I even in? Alright, well now you're in for it because I get to vine whip you. This is how I thought most of the battles were going to go on the SSN. As soon as I got the green light to use Vine Whip against water Pokémon, because there's a lot of savers, as you would imagine, and savers use primarily water Pokémon and random chops. Now the rules for this one is I can't use Vine Whip because it's part poison, so it takes regular damage. It's part weak and part strong against Vine Whip, but I'm going to assume that means I can't use it. I'm not going to use Poison Powder because it's part poison, which means it cannot be poisoned. And that puts me just down to part three of the four-step plan, right off the top of the battle. I did. Good chat. I don't know, what do they say? Teach me a wise sailor.
The wise sailor has fallen. Right, good fight, mate. Is that what they say? You gotta follow through with your punchline, man. It's mine now. You need a better guard, Machoke. I find it hard to believe that you have completed the Safari Zone. I find it hard to believe I'm ever going to complete the Safari Zone. But that's where you get strength from. What is this supposed to be? Are these windows? Is this the light filtering through a window? Never really given it much thought. You there. Wealthy man. That's kind of sad. It's alright though, I'll be your friend. Now. Let us force our pets to battle to the death. Interesting choice opening with Raw. I guess you're also being led by ChatGPT, are you? That's more like it. That's incredibly weak. Why is that so weak? I am a little concerned that Ivysaur is just going to skyrocket ahead of the rest of the team. He's going to leave everyone out in the dirt, but I don't know. Pidgeotto's keeping up. Hopefully the game will tell me to capture someone at a slightly higher level that we can use. If it tells me to capture a ghost, that's going to be pretty strong, because that's just going to get a load of XP here and there against bad AI. There's also always the chance that the AI says, now you need to level up your whole team to the same level. And then I'm um, AFK for the next 10 hours. Yes, your friends have been hospitalized. I am nice to my friends. You don't even have any... What the... You don't have any friends. No, neither do I, the child. Uh, come to think of it. I've got Gary. What's his name? Gary, it is Gary. i got Gary, he's kind of my friend. He's, I mean, he's kind of a stinky poo-poo face, but he's kind of my friend. Honestly, that's fair. Still gonna beat your pets to death, but fair. Wait, what am I doing? That's immune to poison. The most frightening thing is about to come up. Ivysaur is going to learn Sleep Powder. And if it tells me to get rid of Vine Whip, I'm going to cry. It's coming. I don't know the exact level, but it's coming. It's nice to be able to just sort of play the game, though, with attacking moves, fighting trainers. This is, this is a nice change of pace. I am a rude child. Now hand over all of your money. It's cute how you think you're the boss. Can I use your bed? 
selfish swine. Why do you have a porthole that sees into the corridor? Do I look like a waiter to you? I'm ten! They have child labour where you're from, do they? A wiggly tough, you say? Allow me to admire this beast. Fantastic. Great. You look like you're having a nice day. What a happy family. Bonjour. I am a libertaire. I am a French stereotype. Aha. Uh -huh. Incroyable. That's enough of that. All around the world. Alright. You show me the Pokemon and I'll tell you where you can get them from. We'll see how all around the world you went. Route 1. We're off to a bad start. Hold on, Ivy, so you can't fall to a Pidgey. Think of the shame. Just as he's hit me with that super effective gust. He knows how to play. That is a route, I don't know the number, to the left of Viridian City. So, literally, the second route you encounter in the game. It could be the, it could be the third or about the 20th, depending on the order you take, but you could, it could be your second route if you wanted it to be. I'm still blind from the Pidgey, so I'm never landing a tackle here. Never mind, maybe I am. He fought well. But now it's time for the Pidgey Pie. I forgot what the strategy was. Start with Gust. Use Quick Attack if health is low. Use Whirlwind if Pokemon is too strong. Right. You can take it my health is low, yes? Yes. Alright, time for Pidgeotto to get some XP. Let's talk to these people. Ha! <laughs> uh... I like you. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll ask. Personal preference is going to be the answer. No spoilers there. That GPT is consulting all of its information it has on me. And it's given up. However... It's possible... Request denied. I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to battle every trainer and talk to every NPC. You are a terrible, terrible agent. 
I'm a Team Rocket informant. Or, I'm just a kid who sees a way to make a quick buck. But I'm off to sell some info. Be right back. Et bonjour. Wait, I can't remember where the correct way to go is. I don't want to take the correct path. Is it here? It is here. Okay, I've gone. I've gone the correct way, which is wrong. I want to go everywhere but the correct way, because I need to fight everyone. And talk to everyone. Oh, right, right. It's the kitchen down here, isn't it? That's it. I remember. It's been a while, okay? Bon petit. An oddball. That sounds like something you get in a later game. You guys living the dream? No, I did not. Tell me. I take it back. Snorlax is living the dream. It's alright, mon frere. We'll get through this together. Is it Monfrey? Mon ami? Mon ami sounds more correct. I'm not French, okay? Might come as a shock, but I'm not. He teaches cut to Pokemon. Fantastic, we must meet this man. Ahoy. Why would I be seasick? We're in port. Alright, I still want to know if I love Pokemon or not. My health is low? No. Not yet. 17, my health is low. And then everything you know about me from this chat we've had today and also any information you can find about Artega Omega in your memory banks, please make a judgment call on whether or not it is more likely that Artega Omega likes Pokemon. Please provide your best educated guess. It won't find any information on, on Artega Omega. I'm too small. It doesn't know who I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's close enough. I'll take that as a yes. Hey, matey. Dramatic battle jig. I have been challenged to a dance off. Pichoto, go. Dance this man into oblivion. That counts as low HP. Oh, someone's about to get some experience. I have a feeling it's Zubat. Oh, he's not going to survive. Even this is too much for Zubat. What's going to happen is the Machop's going to outspeed and is going to one-shot him. He tried his best. Alright, Sanshrew, you're up.
He might survive a hit. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. High defense on Sandshrew. Sandshrew is the guy who's supposed to swap out if he gets damaged too much, right? Yes. Hmm, an interesting strategy. He's tanking up. He's noticed that my Sandshrew is weak. So he's gonna first prep himself with six withdrawals. And he's got me. He's got me. I don't even know if I've got enough PP to take this guy down. It's come to my attention that the only move you know is withdraw, which surprises me at level 18. But then again, I'm thinking about where you get shelters in the game if you wanted to catch your own, and it's only from fishing later on, so they probably come at over level 20. So he probably learns his first attacking move around about 20 or 22 or something. I think when you catch them, they come with withdraw and one attacking move, is what I'm trying to say. And they, you catch them at a fairly high level. Well, no one expected him to do anything, but Shrew Slayer is... He's making short work of this guy. Well, he's making long work of this guy, but he's making work of him. Too right I am. Although you did feel the Pokémon with no attacking moves. How many kinds of Pokémon? How are you defining a kind of Pokémon? You mean types? You mean breeds? This is 151 precisely, if you mean breeds. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, the last corridor. You want some? No, you want to show me a photo. It's actually quite nice. It's well drawn. You should be proud. Just as a fisherman blocks my path. Once Ivysaur's down, my party has a... Wait, it's the wrong Pokémon. Whatever. We've got a huge water problem. Never mind, this Goldeen just trying to peck me. We're back in this. Does Goldeen have any water moves at level 17? I think not. Use Dig to avoid damage for a turn and deal double damage on the next turn. It's not how it works. Use Tackle if you need to deal some damage and don't want to waste PP. Okay, so I'm allowed to use my brain. That's dangerous. Rock Throw! The plan has changed. Use Rock Throw against opponents weak to them. Okay. If you're weak to Rock, you get the Rock. If you're not weak to Rock, you get the Dig. I am supposed to be using Sandshrew. HP is low when it gets to a quarter. I've turned rap, just did me in. Next is Geodude. I genuinely can't remember if Rock is super effective against Poison. I know Ground is. 
I'm going to look it up. I've got neither poison nor rock to deal with here. I'm going to ask. Is rock super effective against poison? Genuinely can't remember. Okay, thanks. That means I can dig. Never mind. We're going to be here a while. Also, this video is going to be very long. I wanted to do the SSN. I didn't think it would take me about half an hour to get to the SSN. And I also didn't think I'd have to kill everyone on board. But here we are. Okay, well, you're not weak. The rock throw. I never really understood the logic as to why poison is weak to ground. Most of the things I understand, like plant is good against ground because the roots of plants dig through the ground and rip it, you know, rips it up. Actually causes erosion and whatnot. I understand that one. Obviously more, more direct ones like water is good against fire are quite explanatory. But even some of the stranger ones I'm okay with. Fighting is good against normal, I suppose. I mean, if you... A regular person goes up against someone with martial arts training. It's only going to end one way. I kind of get it. And I know Psychic is supposed to be, although it's not in Gen 1 because it's messed up. Psychic is supposed to be weak to Fears. So Psychic is weak to Bug, Ghost, and Dark. That makes sense. I like that. That's a clever one. But I, I never really got why is, why is Poison weak to Ground? Don't get that one. Maybe they're trying to say that if you've got something poisonous, if you just cover it in earth, then... I don't know, the, the earth erodes it all away and it gets distributed through the earth and... ...dispersed? I don't know. Yeah, but you're weak to rock throw, so have some of this. No, wait, you're not! Electric's not weak to rock either, is it? Why is rock so useless? What is rock? Super effective against... I didn't know rock was super effective against bug. Alright. What a weird typing. I never really give a much thought as to how well I know the typing chart. I just kind of know enough to get by. And then I use intuition for the rest of it. Fifteen years ago, your Pikachu would have been level two. You are right, mate? Wise words. Another bit of foreshadowing there. I'm not sure. I just do as I'm told. Perfect. A fire type Pokemon. Finally, Rock Throw gets some usage. I've been told to rock throw things for about five hours now, but finally we get to use some rock throws. I hate rock throw, by the way, its accuracy is awful. And the damage isn't even that good. I'd rather, well, I'd much rather just dig. Dig is actually a good move. When I say a good move, I mean it's incredibly good. I believe dig has 100 power. Isn't it in Gen 1? Which puts it on the same level as Earthquake. 
and just takes a turn to go off, but you're invulnerable in that turn, so it doesn't really matter. I'm happy that Geodude's getting some experience. Like I said before, he has potential to go far. Anyone that's good against normal moves has potential to go far. Because the AI is dumb. And it will use normal moves against me. When it really, really shouldn't. Unfortunate, he may have one-shot that with Dig. I can't use you because you're injured. And I can't use you because you're useless. To be fair though, this is probably how a fight would go down between a rat and a... I was going to say a cocoon, but that's cocooner, surely. I'm coming back. I'll ask about all the TMs and things we're picking up once I've got them all. I just like to do it all in one session at the end. Logically, I can argue this as, well, it told me to beat everyone, so I'm going to do that first. Then I'll continue down the steps. Once I've completed the current step that I am on. That's my excuse. Also, good luck remembering which door I was on. Imagine if I get this right. This one. I went one too far. I went two too far. Turns out I wasn't even close. What do you mean you didn't see me at the party? Oh, it's because I was too late, right? I was listening to the chairman. God, that man goes on. Ivysaur's battle plan is not the best. Just use Vine Web would be better, or just use Tackle would be better. But it's a good catch-all, I suppose. Also, the Leech Sheep and the Poison have set up for any following Pokémon. The only downside to that is my following Pokémon is Pidgeotto, who can actually fight. It's kind of irrelevant, but yeah, you know, it's. I don't mind being careful, I suppose. That's irritating. You can delay as much as you want, Pikachu. You will die. You can't kill me. You can't beat the Leech Seed. Out of my way, alas. Don't you tell me to take it easy. Thank you. Now I'm going to rob you of your worldly goods. I happen to know those things are damn expensive. Sounds awesome. I want to go. No, I've not, but it sounds awesome. I want to go. Your coffee looks awesome. I want to go. Right there. Watch out. I'm not the captain, presumably. I mean, that's... that's concerning. Alright, we better help him out. This is a suspicious-looking... ink in the corridor. This is the kind of thing you see... at the end of a video. Hopefully you'll join me next time, and we shall take on the captain... and whoever might be... 
waiting for me in this corridor. Big mystery. No one knows. It's Gary. You've all played Pokemon. Right. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.